You know, whenever I was a kid, I was lucky enough to train with some pretty amazing people, everybody from Dave Kovar to Dave German. And one of the cool things that all these different people did was that they would teach me how to blend different martial arts together, and that was really exciting for me. And so one of the things we talked about a lot, especially with David Drummond, was how do you take an idea and, and experiment with it and extrapolate from it and look at different aspects of it and look at how different styles will look at a different idea from a different perspective and you can learn a lot from it and maybe, maybe find different ways to apply something. So for example, if we look at the technique that's a, a Kenpo classic of something to the effect like three swords or something like that where you've got block, chop, strike. Or you've got, you know, five swords, block, chop, strike, throw the swing and that kind of thing. Or then you, know, you go into like Thai Kim, which David German did. You've got block, chop, strike, elbow, check, back, fist, lift, kick, and cover out and look cool and snazzy and, and bright and tall things is cool. So you've got different aspects of those techniques. Well, if I've got my one, two, three, four is the foundation, if I go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and I start playing, well then, could we take that? that one, and does it, does it turn into going from in and out to in and out to just out? So it just really turns into your block and your strike turn into the same thing. It could be a palm, whatever, whatever it is that your style does, right? It becomes one thing. Could it be that, that your one, two, three, one, two, three, so it turns into a period catch palm and elbow. So now we're looking at something that you might do in, in for example, uh, a Singy system, or that you might do in like a, uh, like a linear Bakwa system, right? So you've got some of those things that become kind of neat that direction. Then you can also take that to a different family of arts and look like maybe some, some Filipino style kind of stuff, like maybe, maybe our niece or, or call it or whatever you like to call it. And you've got your parry catch and you've got your boom and you've got your covers. You know, you've got your different frames and your hits and your hits and, and suddenly it looks a lot like, looks a lot like Singy again. You know, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So if I can go one, two, three, four, maybe a kick, then we start putting things into it, like maybe uh, maybe that one, two turns into a one, two. Maybe that one, two, three turns into one, two, three. Maybe that one, two, three, four turns into that. Maybe we start turning into plucking and breaking, and it feeds off of that same idea. Well, then we can look at other things, like in a lot of grappling arts, like, you know, a wrestling school and a lot of jiu-jitsu and stuff like that, you turn into into doing a, a clear, like a catching a hook into a tilt or taking somebody's back from a standing position. Or maybe even the good old days where you can't reach for someone's hand, so you reach with this hand to catch it with this hand and pull their hand out of the way. So you go poop poop and grab their hand. One, two, then you catch an elbow and then you're, you're behind. Well, is this idea or this idea all that different? The answer is no. So we start looking at similarities of concept and conceptual flow through different arcs, and the key feature to it is we look for what was it that actually worked, and what was it that, that was proven effective in different genres. And those are the things, the things that people agree on are the things that work best. So anyway, I'll catch you all later.